Well, good evening, all you Lady Trojan fans. Tonight, the Lady Trojans play host to the Greenwood Wildcats here as we begin the second half of the season. The Trojans coming into tonight's ball game with a fine 7 and 1 record in the first half, losing only to first half champion East Juniata. So tonight they'll take on the Greenwood Wildcats, which uh, the Trojans had played earlier in the season and uh, took care of them up at Greenwood. So tonight we'll try to get 2 and 0 here against Greenwood tonight here at UDA. We have the introduction of the ball players and we'll pick them up as we go along tonight and uh, hope that the Trojans can put a good ball game together. It's a rainy kind of a night outside here, rainy, foggy, whatever, still warm. And the only reason I mention that is it's kind of a sparse crowd here tonight. And uh, part of that's due to the fact that the uh, <clears throat> Wildcats are not having a great season. And uh, Ryan introduced here first for UDA, along with Janelle Antez. Katrina Wolf is a junior and she's been junior, playing good ball lately for sure, as is Kristen Ligon. Trojans coming off a loss last time out when they were tripped up by the Williams Valley Vikings right here just uh, two nights ago, Saturday night. So we'll see if we can't get back on track tonight against these Indians, or these uh, Wildcats rather. Kristen Ligon will be tipping it off tonight for UDA out there as we begin tonight's ball game. Number 55, Brocious, will uh, tip it for the Wildcats. So here we go. See if the Trojans can start the second half out on a winning note. Two referees we go with tonight here at UD. Ball tipped up there, controlled back to the Trojans. And this is Antis. Now he likes to start with a three sometimes, but this time she'll go inside to Cuppenhaver, bouncing it on the baseline for two for Wolf. Wolf's fouled. And Katrina will go to the foul line. She'll be shooting two for UD. Foul is on number 55, Brocious, her first first foul of the ball game. And Katrina shooting two. Can give the Trojans an early lead here. And she did. It's one nothing UD. All right. Here's Katrina's second shot. And it is good as well. Two good foul shots by that Katrina Wolf and the Trojans lead 2 nothing. Into the corner it goes here. They'll take it inside for two. It's good. A nice drive to the basket by uh, Motter, number 11. And uh, that was good for two. 15 is Huffman out here. Trojans go right on the baseline here for a shot by uh, Weaver is good. Carmen plays 115% every game, and uh, she just got herself two. It's 4-2, UD. They bounce it back over here into the wing. It goes. Good modder over in the wing. Shot from over there for three, just off the mark. Rebound comes down to Brocious. She'll drop it back here, and 10 with a shot. No good. Rebounded right in there to Katrina. Wolf. 10 is Keener. There's a pass underneath for a shot by uh, Ryan, who was in the ball game for UD. I think Ryan started uh, the ball game tonight. I missed that on the introductions. Huffman. Shot. From th for three, good, off, or for two, she stepped in. So they gave her two. 24 out there is Barnt. We'll pick up these guys every time we swing down to the left side of the court where I can see the scoreboard. <laughs> oh, here's a nice pass inside and then they'll have to shoot it back out. Here's that three point from Antis for three. And it's now a seven four ball game. Played almost two minutes into the first period. <clears throat> Motter with it. Taking it back outside here now. Bouncing here for Barnt into the corner. Huffman for two. It is no good. Rebounded in there again to that Katrina Wolf. So back comes Antis with it. Antis right on the baseline with a nice pass for Wolf for two. It's good. Good bounce pass from Antis to Katrina Wolf. Katrina says that a girl, Antis, or uh, Nellie, I guess she calls her. And uh, 
UD 9-4. Huffman. Motter over in the wing. Barnt. Here's Huffman again. Out here for Keener. Uh, from outside. Uh-oh. Push foul called. Push foul will be called on. Okay. The foul is <clears throat> not sure. No, wait. It's a uh, that was on Brittany Ryan, her first. First shot by 11 is good. That's that modder. Andy, they call her. Annie or Andy, I'm not sure. So here's her second try, and it is good also. She'll be shooting three. He was fouled in three point land out there. So she'll shoot three. She can get the score back to a two point margin for UD if she puts this one in. It is good. So uh, Botter goes three for three. Makes it a 9-7 ball game. Up court comes Antis with it. There's a Weaver. Weaver back here for Janelle Antis. Ryan Antis for Ligon. Ligon tried to go across with this. Picked up over there by Wolf. Then she is tackled and held. A hold foul will be called on Motter. <clears throat> None shooting, of course, so you deal inbound the ball. Antis getting ready to inbound here for Ryan. <clears throat> Antis bouncing it here for Ligon. Ligon back over for Antis. Antis from outside for three, just off the mark that time. Nice rebound here to Weaver. Back out it comes to Antis over across here. 15 foot try by Ligon is good. Kirsten Ligon with a good three from right at the foul line. 11-7, UD. Barnt in the corner here for Huffman. Huffman on the baseline, tries a 12-footer, blocked away nicely in there. Trojans come off with it. Again, it is uh, picked up in there by Wolf for Antis. Nelly winging it around. Inside on a good baseline pass, and the shot was missed. But a heck of a good baseline pass that time, and Weaver couldn't get the shot to go down. I think it was Weaver. Anyway, here's Barnt. Keener over there for that Motter. Motter walked with it. Yeah, stepped inside, went for a walk. 4.03 left in the opening quarter. Trojans by four. Seems like it ought to be more than that, but that's what it is at this point. Whoops. Wait a minute. False start that time. We're ready to go. Nan Kibble came into the ball game to replace Huffman for the uh, Wildcats. Here's Antis. Inside she goes and a turnaround shot, but a walk first. Walk call that time on uh, <clears throat> Ryan. Going for the walk that time for UD. And up court comes that Motter gal, or that uh, Keener gal, rather. Now Motter has it. Back here for Keener. Bart. And we have a walk called on the Greenwood Wildcats. 3.38 left here in the first quarter. 11 7 to score. Small crowd and rather quiet tonight um, as compared to Williams Valley ball game the other night. Turnaround shot by Liggins, good for two. A seven footer by Kristen Ligon, and she has two more. 13 7. Nan Kibble passed it out front here. Ball tapped away from Motter. And let's see, the Trojans still after that ball. Nearly made about four steals out of that, but over the wing it goes to Barn. Anyway, here's Nan Kibble with it. And here for Keener. Motter. Motter taking it over on the baseline for a drive and a shot by uh, Barnt. She's fouled and she will go the line. Or will she? Yes, she will. She'll go the line shooting two. Foul was on Messner, who came into the ball game here just recently. I missed Jen coming in. <clears throat> Ryan checks out of the game now as in to replace her came. I'm not sure. 
Anyway, second shot's good. It's 13-9. And back come the Trojans. This is Antis. Oh, we're in a wing over there. Goes to Ligon. Right out in front. Shot up there just a little bit short. Rebound comes right down there to that Wagner, and she'll start up court. Or rather to Keener, and she'll start up court. Barnt goes across the court, picked off in here by the Trojans. And is with a nice bounce pass there for Weaver for two. It's good. A nice bounce pass and a good bucket by Carmen Weaver. 15-9 to score, 222 left here in the first quarter. Inside, they'll spin it here now, and then a ball came loose. 33 in there for the uh, Greenwood Wildcats. And is coming back with it. Oh, nice pass right underneath, and a good bucket made by Weaver. And timeout called by Coach Romberger. 207 left here in the first quarter. It's 17-9 UD. 33 here is Comp for the uh, Greenwood Wildcats. 33. She just re-entered or entered the game before the last whistle. Into the corner it goes here now as they try to play it inside. It, it comes back out here. Shot from over here by Motter wouldn't go. Rebound comes down there to Jen Messner who will give it up. Jen had injured her ankle at least momentarily the other night. Had a severe sprain it looked like as the Trojans pour yet another one in here. Weaver with another bucket for UDA. As now the Trojans by 10. They pick it up over there for that uh, pass for Whoa, right through the legs of Motter. That one went that time. <clears throat> Minute 20 left right now in the opening period. Antis slowly but surely working it up over the timeline for UD. Over there in a the wing. Now a nice pass inside intended for Ligon, but picked off here by uh, the Trojans. Shot put up by Le by Messner wouldn't go. And then it gets tied up on the tie if it's going to be Wildcat ball. Trojans played it nice on the baseline. The uh, Wildcats just seem to have no one that can control the baseline in there for Greenwood. Trojans running that line pretty much at will. And back. Comes Keener. This is Keener with it again. Bounce it here from Motter. Into the corner it goes. Huffman, who is back into the ball game, plays it inside. Back outside for Huffman. Now Huffman has it yet a third time. She'll walk with it. Yep, she got tangled up there. Good defense again by the Trojans. A couple of Trojans converging on her and uh, caused her to take a walk. 40 seconds left here in the opening period. Trojans by 10. There's that Nelly gal over there for Weaver. Carmen inside. They'll go now for Ligon. Back outside here is Antis. Weaver. And Antis. 19, 18 seconds. So the Trojans decide now they'll just play the clock down here. Nice pass inside for Wolf. Ball stolen away. And then a hold foul will be called on Ligon, I believe. Yep. She will pick up the personal foul. <clears throat> For Kristen, it is her first, I believe. Yep. From the wing for three, short. Rebound comes right back down to her, however. That's that Huffman pop, or no, it wasn't Huffman. The comp it was, I think. It was Nan Kibble with the shot the last time and not comp. Up court they come, and that's going to do it as the buzzer goes to end the first quarter. But it's a good one. The Trojans lead by 10 at the end of one. It's UDA 19. The Greenwood Wild Kittens, nine. Trojans in bounty here now to Ryan, who is back in there to begin the second quarter. Here's Antis taking it over the wing. It goes back out here for Antis. Antis from 23 feet out just a little bit off the mark. Rebound comes down there to that comp and she'll drop it back. Nan Kibble bouncing it here for Motter into the corner. It goes to Huffman. 
Huffman will pick up the ball and drop it back here for Man Kibble and then Man Kibble again with it. Over in the wing, Huffman. Ooh, near steal that time by the Trojans. I don't know how they got rid of that one. And then she hits it two. Well, it's two for Wagner. Or Motter, I mean, not Wagner, Motter. 7-13 left here in the half. 19-11, eight point lead for UD. Here is Messner. Messner right underneath with a bucket by Weaver. Well, I'll tell you what, Carmen will have 48 points tonight. They can keep feeding her like that underneath there because, boy, there's a good strong pass that time from Jen Messner. And Weaver is not missing those shots. That time did a left side layup. Whoops. Oh, a little bump out here. Then a walk called as uh, Keener, number 10, went into Ryan, number 10. And uh, on the walk, it'll be UD Ball. Barnt back in the lineup for the uh, Greenwood Wildcats, number 24. Here's Andy, it's gonna take it all the way in for two. Now he said, I like this outside shooting, but I think I'll try an inside one once, see how that works. And she said, eh, it worked pretty good. And back they come. Whoops, tipped away, picked up by the Trojan. As uh, Ligon picks that one off after it got tapped loose. There's Antis with it. On the wing, Weaver, looking around, goes in here for Ryan. Back for Weaver. Weaver picking it up, back outside here for Antis. Nelly trying to go inside the Ligon. Ball tapped around in there. Ligon picks it off. Back here for Ryan. Could move inside that time as that pass was a little off the mark and got tipped around, but the Trojans able to control it anyway. So no harm done. Near wing here is Messner. Jen dropping it back off here for Ryan. Her shot, oh, just off the mark. Rebound comes down here to Hoffman. She'll drop it back now as up court. Comes Dan Kibble. In the corner, Huffman picking it up. Dan Kibble had stolen away nicely in there, tapped loose by Messner. Up with it comes Antius. Antius with a nice bounce pass for Ryan for two, it's good. Steal by Messner, assist to Antis, bucket by Ryan. 5-16 remaining here in the opening half. It's 25-11, UD. Timeout is over, and here we have Nan Kibble bringing it up court for uh, a shot by Motter for three, no good. Rebounded nicely over there by Weaver. Here's Antis with it. Antis moving it out there before she is hammered by Huffman. Be non shooting. Fourth team foul, and for Miss Huffman, it is her first. 4.54 left here in the first half of this quiet ball game. Here's Weaver for two. That one there, she couldn't sling up quite well enough that time. It was picked off in here by Barnt. Coming up court, they come here for uh, that uh, Keener. Dropping it back here for Nan Kibble. Nan Kibble, left wing, or right wing over here. Tapped out of there nicely for Jen Mester, assuming the pass that time. And she was right, and she knocked it out. Keener will inbound. Right inside it goes. They try to roll it over there, looking for Keener, but picked up by the Trojans. Near wing here is Mester. Mester takes it inside, tips it around, gets her own shot, puts the second try back up, no good, and rebound comes down to Motter. And she'll break it up the left wing over there. Oh, that time. Keener is fouled. Wolf. She was attacked by a wolf out there, and Katrina will pick up the foul. <clears throat> it's kind of a game right now, the way it's going, that uh, the fouls matter, of course, as uh, Ligon checks out of the ball game for UD. Whoops, kicked out of there by Wolf. Ashley Sutton in there to replace uh, Ligon for Coach Shadle. Ooh, here's a rush to the hoop for two. It's a good one. Bart 
gets two. She was watching Nellie Antis do that a moment ago, and she said, eh, heck, if she can do it, I can do it. And she did. All right, here's Antis with it. Picks up the dribble over here for a pass inside. Here is a shot by Messner. Just wouldn't go to rebound. Comes down inside there and picked up by uh, Motter. Nan Kibble, near wing. Here's Bart. Bart taking it in again. Hey, now wait a second. Now wait a second. We didn't teach her that much. Miss Bart just gets two quick buckets by driving it down the lane. And the margin down to 10 now, 25 to 15. Pass right underneath. Oh, and a shot and a foul. Brocious is in the line of number 55. And her foul will send Wolf to the line. She'll be shooting two. For Miss Brocious, it is her second foul of the ball game. 3.15 remaining here in the first half. So see if Katrina can get a couple of these. First shot, good. 26-15. Messner will check out for UDA now as Ligon back in there for the Trojans. Wolf's second shot is just off the rim. Picked up in here by Brocious, who will drop it back here. And Huffman plays it into the corner. And I think she, whoops, I was going to say she walked with it, but I guess not. I think the foul will be on Sutton, number 30. Yep. Sutton picks up the foul. And uh, Mutter picks up the ball. She will get the ball to inbound here. She does so. Nan Kibble back here for Huffman. Huffman all goes over the wing. Now they bounce it on the baseline. Shot put up in there. No good. Return shot put up by Bart or by Brocious. No good. And back comes Weaver for Ligon. Ligon, another 15-foot try. Well, that's why you practice foul shots. How about it? Uh, yep. Kristen <laughs> just right at the foul line, maybe a foot off the center or towards the right. And there's a volleyball or a soccer ball kick. 237 left here. It's 28-15. UD on top. 33 comp back in there. Now she replaced Brocious for the Wildcats. In the corner it goes. Shot by Huffman and a three-point foul coming up here on uh, Sutton. She will pick up her second foul here. And to the foul line goes Marissa Huffman, I think they're calling her. She'll be shooting three. Her first one, no good. She'll shoot two more. Second shot, good. She's one for two, can she make it? 66%, we'll see. Sutton checks back out. Weaver back in there for UDA. Two and a half minutes remaining in the half. Third shot is good. So she made two out of three for that young Huffman gal. And back come the Trojans now, who leading by 11, 28-17. Here's Antis dropping it in front. This is Wynn. Morgan Wynn over in the corner. She'll go with it. Now back on the near wing, or the far wing rather, for Antis. Antis taking it down and looking for two. Oh, a little bit short. Gets her own rebound, puts a shot up and in good. So Nelly stayed right in there, put a two-footer in from out in front. It's 30-17. Whoa, wait a second. That was a run. They called her a walk, but it was more like a run that time. As... Uh, <clears throat> Barnt got it going there and just didn't stop for a dribble. So Greenwood will inbound the ball. Or, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, beg your pardon. Upper Dolphin will inbound the ball. Here's Antis, near wing, Ligon. Ooh, tried to go in here for a wolf, but it's tapped out of there. Monter chasing it over there for Greenwood and tapping it out of there. So Antis will inbound again. Does so here for a win. 
Wynn has it, her ball pass tapped her loose in here. Let's see, Ligon goes on the floor with it. So does Bart. Bart rolled over, and that's a walk. So it'll be UD ball. Trojan a little sloppy that time. And uh, UD will inbound it. Antis inbounding. Does so right here, and on the baseline it goes to Wolf. Again, the Trojans struggling with the basketball down there. Here's Ligon back outside for Wynn. And Wynn picking up the dribble. Wynn's going to take it inside and hold everything. We got a blocking foul called on UD. Number 44 is uh, Weaver. She'll pick up a foul. <clears throat> Seventh team foul, but on that end of the court, you don't get to shoot, I guess. <clears throat> Barnt back here for Huffman or for uh, Nan Kibble. Here's a shot from the side by Motter. No good. And rebound comes down here and Antis will control it for UD. 54 seconds left in the half. Antis. Dropping it back over there for Wynn. Wynn goes into the corner, tried to go into the corner, stolen away. Back with it comes Barnt for two. It's no good. She shot it over everything. Rebound comes down here and control to the uh, Wildcats. Keener back there for Nan Kibble. Nan Kibble bounces it over in the wing. Barnt with it back here. Oops, wait a second. Barnt is stormed by uh, <clears throat> Wynn. Heard of Barnt storming? Well, that was it. And uh, to the line goes Nan Kibble, rather. And she'll be shooting a one and one. Her first shot is um, good. 38 team to score. 25 seconds remaining here in the first half. And here's her second try. And it is good. Two good foul shots by that Nan Kibble. And uh, UD will inbound the ball with time running down here in the first half. Morgan wins. She are trying to look around and see if she can find out what's happening inside. Gives it over here for um, Weaver. And then she has it back again. Shot over there a little bit short. Rebounded in there to Huffman. Six seconds remaining. Back down the court comes Nan Kibble with a rush. Her shot off the glass, no good. Ball's tipped up. This is good if it goes. Kump with a shot to end the period. But the Trojans with a pretty good first half. A little bit sloppy at times, but uh, still an 11 point lead at halftime now. It's UDA 30 and the Greenwood Wildcats 19. Back with the second half. Back into play here in the second half. Now as the Greenwood Wildcats have the advantage of inbounding, here goes Motter trying to force one up inside and they're gonna call a blocking foul on Ligon. I think that was one of the softest fouls I've ever seen, but in fact, they're gonna consult with you. They're not even sure. Yep, a blocking foul called on Kristen Ligon. Kristen picks up her second. And um, Motter to the line shooting two. Her first shot. No good. She'll shoot one more. Here's her second try. And it is. No good. So she missed a pair. Rebound comes down in there. Control to the Trojans. Weaver coming up with that one. Back up court comes Antis with it now. Nelly. Harassed out here by Keener. Now inside, they'll try to throw it, but the ball came loose. Uh, dribbled by about six people, still loose on the floor. They'll drop it back here. Who the heck has it? Foul called. Foul will be on Keener. She picks up the personal foul. You deal inbound the ball. Wrestling match had broken out there momentarily. There's Ligon dropping it back here. Antis for three. That's short. Rebound comes right down inside there. Wolf picks it up, puts a shot up short. And Brocious with the rebound. Had a tip tapped out of her hand by uh, Weaver. But 
Keener has it. Bounces it over here for a pass on the wing. Now they go over here to Bart. Bart walked with it as she started off that time. Took that little step that they do. And it's called for the walk. Played one minute into the third quarter here in just three seconds. Okay, now we played a minute. No score. No scoring here in the third. Ryan for Wolf. Back out here for Ligon. Across the court it comes to Antis. Antis would like three. Antis got three. <laughs> Nellie Antis with a nice three bagger. And up comes Brocious with it now. Brocious slinging it over there for Huffman. Huffman. We'll wing it back out here for that Keener gal. She has Motter here. Whoop, wait a minute. Didn't Motter. What? She walk with that? Yeah, walk. Right. The ref wasn't sure over here, but now he's got it right. And Hantis will inbound the ball. Inbounds it here for that Ryan, and now Andis with it again. Really quiet ball game. Very quiet. Weaver. Years past, this was a riot. Whenever you played Greenwood, turnaround shot by Ligon. That time it wouldn't go down. And on the rebound, it's a foul called. Foul might be on Weaver. It is with a hold. Carmen picks up the foul. And Motter will inbound the ball. Ooh, tipped away nicely. Oh, wait a second. Now they're going to say she walked with it. Uh. Weaver came up with it, handed it to uh, Ryan, and Ryan put it in, but the walk called first. Hmm. Just a quiet, you know, no one complained about it. Nobody arguing whether it was, here's another steal. Wolf for two, it's good. Another steal. Nine footer for Katrina. Wolf. Ooh, near steal again there by Katrina. And up court comes Motter with it, more or less. And she went up for a walk with it too. She had to come up on her leg and uh, was called for the walk. 35-19, Antis will inbound. Five forty left here in the uh, third period. Ryan here for Weaver. Weaver for Antis. Oh, nice pass inside Ligon. Shot blocked away. Brocious came over there and Brocious tapped that one away for her Greenwood Wildcats. And it'll be inbounded here to Weaver. Wow, Weaver fouled, no foul called. Here's Ligon. Ligon dropping it there for Antis. Antis pushing it here for Ryan. Ryan from outside, just off the mark with that one. Rebounding there to that Huffman. We'll drop it back now to Nan Kibble. Nan Kibble over on the wing. Nan Kibble right underneath. She goes with it for Keener. Her shot no good. Ball tapped around in there and out of bounds. It goes off Keener. <clears throat> and UD will inbound. Five minutes remaining in the third. Nellie Antis across the timeline. Oh, right in there for Wolf, but the ball came loose and then it's going to be tied up. It'll stay UD ball. Tie up under there results in UD having the ball. Jen Messner checks into the UDA lineup now for you, the Trojans. Here's a shot from the wing over here, in and out, wouldn't stay down. A rebound comes down there to uh, Barnt. Barnt near wing, Dan Kibble. And Kimball comes over here for Huffman. Huffman steps in for a long two. That's no good. Return shot by Brocious is good. She gets the bucket and will go to the line as shooting one to get three. Sounds like it's Heather Brocious shooting one. The foul was on Wolf, her second. Brocious one and only shot, good off the glass and in. 
35-22. The score show you the clock next time we get a chance here. <clears throat> and here comes Antis. Nelly. Out in front, stopping, 18-foot try, good for two. Nelly Antis for two, 37-22. In the meantime, up court come the Wildcats. Ooh, taking it right inside there with a nice drive is that burnt. Uh, uh, yeah. Burnt for two. Antis, shot from outside, off the mark, and on the rebound, it's going to be tapped in here, controlled to the Trojans. Ligon bringing it down. Here's Wolf for two. It's good. <laughs> Katrina Wolf, 17-footer, left wing, puts it right home. Katrina with a block, picked up in there by the uh, Greenwood Wildcats. Here's Nan Kibble. Over there, whoops, stolen away. Well, then getting back again is the Wildcats. Huffman, Nan Kibble. Inside, they wanted to go, but it's tipped in there nicely by Ligon, who will pop it back there for Messner, and then she gives it to Antis. <clears throat> Trojan blocking up that inside play, looking for that Brocious gal inside. Here's a shot from outside, a foul, but no call. And on the other wing, it goes out of bounds. It's going to be off the Wildcats. And uh, timeout called by someone. I'm not sure who. 303 remaining here in the third. 39-24 UD. We'll be right back. Okay, I think we're ready to go now. One official is out in the hallway doing something, retrieving the ball perhaps. I'm not sure. At any rate, ready to go here now as they unbound it here for Wynn, who is back into the ball game. Morgan out in front. Antis. Ooh, Nelly was going to pop by a long one there. Ligon. Here's a 16-foot try by Wolf. No good. Rebound comes down here. Let's see. It's going to go out of bounds off the hands of uh, Barnt. And so UD will inbound the ball. Right over here comes Ligon. Ligon with a shot. Oh, she was set up that time. And the ball stole away. Wolf for two. It's good. <laughs> Katrina tries one from the right wing side this time and makes it good. About an eight-footer that time for Katrina. Wolf. And Kibble. Ooh, off the foot of Antis. And it'll be a kickball. And so Greenwood would be able to inbound it again here. 2.22 left here in the third. Then killed over there for that pass inside, stolen away nicely by uh, Antis. <laughs> he kind of got tangled up in there. Now he said, at least give my hand back. Holding on to everything on the tie up. Bounces it inside, comp for two, shot it over everything, rebounded in there to Wolf. She'll drop it back. Win coming up court for UD. Win bouncing it here for Wolf. Whoop, Wolf went for a little walk with it, and Katrina knew it as soon as she heard the whistle. There is 157 left here in a third, 41 24 UD. Keener back in there for the coach uh, of the uh, Wildcats. Nan Kibble, near wing here, here is Keener with it. Dropping it there for Huffman. Huffman for Keener. Keener, and now she's kind of tied up. Nope, gets it over there for Nan Kibble. 130 left here in the third. Keener looking near wing here for Huffman. Huffman on the baseline, tries a shot, but she's fouled. Foul will be on UDA's number 23. That's Katrina Wolf. She'll pick up her third. And it'll be Huffman going to the line to shoot two. Her first one is good, real good. 
41-25. She will try to hit one more here. And it is short. Rebound, let's see, comes back to her. So Huffman has it. Taking it back outside here for Nan Kibble. 110 remaining in the third. Keener, one to take it on the baseline. Puts a dump inside, but the ball picked off in air by Ligon, and back comes Antis with it. Antis for Ligon. Ligon, who wanted to see something go underneath it, did to Wolf. Wolf's turnaround shot. Wouldn't go down. Rebounded in there to Ligon, however, and she is fouled. Kristen will go to the line shooting two. 53 seconds remaining here in the third. Ligon at the line to shoot a pair. Here's Kristen's first try, and it is good. Good first shot by that Kristen Ligon. Ryan checking back into the ballgame to replace Wolf for Coach Shadle. <clears throat> Here's Kristen's second try, and it is good also. Two good foul shots by that junior Kristen Ligon. <clears throat> oh, wait a second. Ball loose, picked up in here, let's see. Back with it comes Antis. Nelly with 38 seconds left over the wing it goes shot from over there by Jen Messner just off the mark and out of bounds it goes it's going to go out of bounds off the hands of Keener with 34.2 seconds remaining in the third. So Antis will inbound it right here for Ligon. Ligon sets up for two it is good. Well Kristen got the bounce that time it hit the far rim bounced up in the air and came right back down the shoot. This is Huffman. Rolling it inside for Comp, who is back into the ball game. Shot from outside for three. Off the mark, rebound, let's see. It's gonna be blue ball, so. Oh, <laughs> blue, she says, wait a minute. Ryan couldn't believe that when she left it roll out of there and they gave it to the blue, which is a Greenwood. Why they're not called blue wood, I'll never tell you. Anyway, here's Huffman for two. It's a little bit long. And that's going to do it as the buzzer goes to end the third quarter. But the Trojans maintaining a good lead here tonight now. Lead by 20 going into the fourth period. It's 45-25 UDA. Fourth quarter underway. Upper Dolphin with the advantage of inbounding. And so they'll push it inside here for a shot by Weaver. No good. Brocious with the rebound and back with it comes uh, Nan Kibble. Nan Kibble goes right underneath there to Motter. She'll dump it back out here for Keener. Keener had tapped out of her hand, but has it back again. Nan Kibble for Keener. Keener taking it inside for two. That's a little bit short. Rebound tapped around, controlled in there to Weaver. And Carmen will drop it back here for Antis. Antis streaking up the court this time. Goes into the corner here for a shot from Wolf. That's a little bit off the mark. Return shot put up by Weaver. Good for two. Carmen Weaver for two. And back comes Nan Kibble. Nan Kibble has Barnt over the wing, but he gives it to a pass inside here for Brocious for two. It's good. Well, they hand it inside to Brocious. And using her height to her advantage, she pumps it off the glass nicely for two. This is Antis for Ryan. And back to Antis. Over there for Chen Mester. And or Chen had it roll loose and picks it over here for Antis. And Antis is bumped out of bounds. And the ball is also. And so they'll turn it back over here. 6.35 left in the ball game. <clears throat> 47-27. UD still maintaining that 20-point margin at this point. Dan Kibble up court. For Huffman. Oh, what happened to Huffman there? She walked with it. She kind of tripped herself as she wanted to make the play, I think, back to the backcourt. But anyway, 
back comes Antis with it. Nelly. For Mester, Mester right underneath with a nice pass to Weaver for two. A good pass from Jen Weaver here, 22, or Jen Mester, 22, to uh, Carmen Weaver. Carmen, I'm telling you, they could feed her. It's like going to the zoo and you feed peanuts to the monkeys or whatever. I mean, she is just right there and she takes every one of them and puts it home. So back comes Andy's with it. Nellie has a chance to get three more, and why not? Right down the chute for that Nellie Antis. Where did she get to? There she is. Nellie running in a gunning and getting three. Nan Kibble. Shot by Wagner. That's partially, or was that a pass? I guess that was a pass inside to Brocious, and Brocious gets two. 52, 29, 520 remaining in the ball game. Antis here for Weaver. Weaver right there. There's a nice shot by Bester. Wouldn't go. Picked up in here by Nan Kibble, and she'll start it back up court for Greenwood. Jen Messner can't seem to buy a bucket tonight. Jen's had some opportunities, but just can't get anything to go down. Here's another pass inside, looping it up there for Brocious. She stands there, puts a second shot up. It's good. She's fouled. She will go to the line, as shooting one to get three. Timeout's going to be called by Coach Shadle with uh, 4.54 left here in this ball game. And uh, when we come back, Brocious will be at the line for Greenwood shooting one. Timeout is over. Brocious at the line to shoot her one to get three. And here it is, and it is good. Off the glass and in good for Brocious. 52-32, again, that 20-point margin for UD. Here's Antis, looping it inside here for Ligon. Ligon, near wing here, Antis. Antis from outside for three more. Nope, don't have to mark that time. Ligon with a return shot. She's bumped out of there. And then the ball goes bumped out of there. But look at Kristen looking at that one. He says, where was, was I fouled or did I faint? <laughs> so I felt myself falling backwards there from something hit her. Anyway, back with it come the Greenwood Wildcats. Keener over here for Nan Kibble. Nan Kibble would like to try to get three. Nope, not that time. Ooh, Wolf comes up with a rebound quickly ahead here for Antis. Antis for two. It is no good, but Nelly will go the line. Shooting two. Nelly at the line to shoot two. 4.15 remaining in the ball game and we'll see if Nellie can put a couple of these in. I don't know why not. Let me find out here. Here's her first one. Yeah, that's right. Okay, she'll try that one more time. Most important shot of the ball game. Foul shot. Whoops. Missed that one. Ball tip loose. Picked up here by Ligon. Ligon back here for Antis. Antis goes over the wing. Now inside for Ligon. Ligon's re reaching in for two. It's good. Well, she shortened that to about 14 feet that time. Uh, she took that one step inside there and popped her home. Nan Kibble over on the wing. This is Keener. Or no, that was Huffman, rather. This is Keener. Keener for two. Nope. Not that time. Ligon with the rebound. Wait a second here. We're tying it up, her and Barn. On the tie-up, it's going to stay down here. Keener checks out of the ball game for Coach Rumberger. And uh, moderate inbounds here for Nan Kibble. This is Huffman. Whoa, 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 that was a walk, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yep, walk. 3.41 left in the game. Andrews up court. In the wing there for Wolf. Now inside, Ryan taking it, look for two, it is good. And Brittany will go to the line shooting one to get three. Nice rush that time by that Brittany Ryan. She will shoot one. Go 
one shot is good. So she goes and gets herself three points. 58-32, the score, 325 left in the game. Bounce back here for Nan Kibble. Nan Kibble over the wing. Huffman fires one up from over there. Good for two. Huffman for two. That comes Antis. Antis with a nice pass right there on the baseline. Shot put up. Wouldn't go. That was Ligon with the shot. Good heavens. I think she picked up the ball and the Ryan that time and threw it out this way. <laughs> Here's Huffman looking for two. It is no good, but a blocking foul will be called on number 30. That's that uh, Sutton. And she will pick up her third and uh, to the line goes Motter, shooting two. First one, good. High arc on that shot by uh, Miss Motter here. Then Kibble checking back out of the Greenwood lineup in to replace her is Keener. Watch the arc on Huffman's shot here. <clears throat> Oh, well, she missed that one. But anyway, nice high arc. And then a walk will be called as uh, Wolf gets tied up in there. They blocked the ball on the dribble, and uh, Katrina couldn't help but walking with that one. Ryan checking out of there for UD. Messner in there to replace her. Over in the wing. They pick it up back here for that key, uh, Keener. Keener has it back again. Keener drops it over here for a shot from outside. Wouldn't go. Rebounded in there to uh, Ligon. Stolen away. Keener picks it up off the glass. Good for two. Keener for two. And back comes Antis with it. Antis from outside. Nope, that's short. Rebound put up in, in good by Wolf, I believe it was. Not sure. You have to look at that one, coach. I'm not sure. I look like Wolf, but I'm not sure. Here is Keener. Huffman. Huffman likes to take it inside. Puts a shot up, but a blocking foul will be called on Jen Messner. It might result in a one and one. Or two, rather. She'll be shooting two. Motter's first shot. No good. She will shoot one more. 211 remaining in the ball game. Second shot. Good. Well, she rattled one of them home, one for two. And makes it a 60 to 38 ball game now. <clears throat> and just will waste a little time as she goes across the timeline. In here for Ligon. Ligon, near wing. This is Sutton back here. Oh, let's see who's got it. Well, it's going to be picked up by the uh, Wildcats. <clears throat> that was uh, Motter making that steal that time. Keener goes right inside there. They'll push it back here for Motter. Motter from outside for two. No good. Rebound. Let's see. Control there to Ligon. She'll drop it here for Antis. Up court come the Trojans, near wing. Here's a shot by Sutton for two. Wouldn't go. Ball knocked out of there by a couple of, of uh, Wildcats, I think. Wynn checking back into the ball game. She will replace Nellie Antis, who has played one heck of a ball game here tonight. Gets a deserved round of applause from the Trojan partisans here. 128 left in the game. Here's Wynn. Wynn can step up for a couple. Just off the mark a little bit. Rebound tapped out of there. Let's see. Where are they going to rule it? Going to say it went off um, Keener, I guess. Ligon for two more. Just a little short. Rebound comes down here. Control to Huffman. Huffman back out. Keener over there for a shot by Motter. It's good for two. Motter for two. One minute remaining in the ball game right now. 60-40, Trojan by 20. Ligon, out here for Antis. Antis will pick it up. 
Try is or uh, rather uh, Wolf rather for two. No good. Rebound comes down here to uh, Mester. Her shot wouldn't go. Rebounded again and a shot put up. No good. That was by Wolf that time and back with it with 35 seconds come the Wildcats. Keener bouncing it over there for uh, Huffman. She goes inside. The shot put up in there by Brocious is good. Well, they worked out a couple of times. 20 seconds remaining, less than 20. 16, so forth. Here is Anchet, or uh, Wolf. Six seconds, five seconds. Wolf with it, three seconds. And here's a shot that's good if it goes, but it wouldn't go. Final shot of the ball game put up there by uh, Wynn. But the final score is UDA 60 and the visiting Greenwood Wildcats 42. And a very convincing win here tonight over these Wildcats who are not having a good year, to say the least. Trojans have put it to them twice now, once up at Greenwood and then once down here now. So two good ball games against these previously really wild Wildcats and they're just having a rebuilding year, I'm sure. Some good ball players on that team. But the Trojans tonight regain the winning streak now as they uh, pick up this win tonight following their loss uh, on Saturday night to the Vikes. So the Trojans with a one game winning streak again here now and in league now go eight and one overall. So big showdown coming up in a couple another week or so with those East Juniata Tigers as the uh, Tigers will come to town here and play the Trojans here at UDA. So we'll see what happens then. Another good ball game by a whole bunch of young Trojans tonight. So we'll say congratulations to Coach Shadle and to all his Trojanettes here, picking up another big win. And uh, we'll catch you on Thursday night now, playing Monday, Thursday baseball for the girls when they play host to, I think it might be Newport, I'm not sure. Anyway, good night from UDA.